Hey everyone, we are going to go ahead and get started. And I'm the Senior Vice President of Therapy. Welcome. So why we're meeting today is we have a couple of announcements that we want to make, both for families who are already in the Academy program and those who are interested in joining. So we're going to do a brief overview of the program and we're going to preview an exciting new addition that we will be adding over the summer. And Hey guys, you're watching my real life vlogs. Welcome back, welcome back. I started my date wearing workout clothes and ain't doing no workout. <laughs> I know I was gonna be spending some time outside, so I wanted to be comfortable with all this heat. I had breakfast pretty early when Ann had her breakfast, and so you guys just kind of saw me having my little, I guess, kind of early lunch situation. And it was some leftover shrimp and grits that I had cooked for my dad and my husband for Father's Day. I had kind of mentioned in my last vlog that I was gonna be doing like a Father's Day brunch, and we did do that. When when Dwayne came over, and it was really, really nice. I didn't vlog it, but I did post some content over on Instagram if you guys want to check that out. So I just wrapped up a meeting with Ann's therapy center, which went really well. It was more of like a parent education type of thing. Them kind of rolling out some new programs and just kind of informing all the parents about it. So that was a really quick meeting. It was like 20 minutes. And then I went ahead and went outside with this little kit that I ordered from Amazon. It was kind of just like um, a play set kit, something that you can just add some accessories to it to kind of enhance the experience. And you guys, I'm so excited because my niece and nephew are going to be coming to visit me for a couple of weeks this summer and it's actually coming up next month yeah I am so freaking excited one of the reasons that I bought this playset was because I, I couldn't wait for all the cousins to get together and play on it and this will be their first time actually being able to come it's kind of like a dream come true because I've always envisioned myself like having my niece and nephew here for like the whole summer and though I'm not getting that they are coming for an extended amount of time and I just want to make sure that there's something for everyone to do and I'm really looking forward to it y'all I cannot wait so I was just adding some little additions to the playset some things that will be more boy friendly I guess and I also kind of embellished it a little bit more just to make it more fun for KK and Ann. And I'm just so freaking excited. And you guys, please don't panic. I know some of you guys are gonna see me dealing with power tools and climbing up the little ladder and you guys are gonna be like, oh my God, you're pregnant. How could you possibly do that? Y'all, come on, listen. <laughs> for those of you who feel that way, I appreciate your thoughtfulness and your worrying. I'm gonna assume that it's all in good faith. But y'all, I've never been this sort of damsel in distress type of chick. Like. You know what I mean? So being pregnant is really not going to change that. I do take all the necessary precautions to be safe so you guys do not worry and everything's gonna be fine. So Anthony just got out of here and went to work a little bit ago. Y'all, Sansa is in here doing acrobats. Okay, she's ready to go outside. I'm gonna have to monitor her though and here's why. Come on, she's ready to eat. So y'all see how she kinda be taking off running. We call it blitzing. 
you see how she's looking okay because she's so used to being able to run through my mulch beds here so I had Eduardo come yesterday and he put down new mulch in all of our mulch beds so over here and also in front of the house but yeah I went to Menards today just to try it out this little like wire fence thing and I just bought one set to just see like how it would look because I really <laughs> really concerned about the look of it but to help keep Sansa from running across my mulch beds because we lose so much mulch every season because of her running and also stomping on some of my plants they're doing really good this year as y'all can see so I'm really happy about it I don't want her to stump them out so I'm thinking about getting these to go all the way around my mulch bed like in its entirety she can always still jump over it but it's going to deter her because that'll be more effort to have to jump so I'm thinking about going back to Menards and just getting some more gate connections and just connecting it all the way around but yeah this is how the patio is looking this year pretty much the same old same old so I decided I wasn't gonna do like a <laughs> dedicated video to it but you guys can see my flowers and things a bunch of impatience and petunias and begonias and geraniums just kept it real simple went for what I knew I had planted some plants on this side that require more of a shaded partial sun and um, it's working out great y'all it really really is and then over here I had gotten this navy blue rug and I was thinking about just like switching out the pillow covers for these and making them coordinate more with the rug but we'll see if I can find anything here's my flowers by the door and then I also got this welcome sign from at home just to cover up that weird little old school intercom system that we disabled when we moved in so I just have that kind of covering that right underneath that light it's been working out pretty good and then my raised garden over here is looking kind of nice these are my peppers they're starting to really kind of bloom a bit and I put the impatience over here for the floral aspect because those require more of a shaded environment so it's been working out more impatience over here if you guys know anything about impatience you know they're gonna grow up and kind of mound and so those are really really pretty for planters or like little flower beds and then over here the playground I just added more flowers we got some impatience over here and Anne's little bucket a little adult supervision seating area going on here and then I actually had ordered another accessory which is more like a trampoline thing that the kids can sit on kind of together like two at a time so that's going to come on Friday um, I, you guys may or may not be able to see it in this vlog but we'll see it's supposed to be delivering very soon an Amazon purchase and then I just added those additions I think Zion will appreciate those extra handles which are going to come in handy and then these flower pots cute little sign here in case they want to do a little juice bar I'm gonna bring out some toys for them to play with out here some little seats and I got this she shed sign from the dollar store yeah they had that at Dollar Tree so I grabbed that come on Sasa yeah like I gotta get a waddle to like re-level all of this rubber mulch because you see how Sansa just runs through it see here she goes you see the running and what it does is it just redistributes the mulch and it's like you know we'll have areas where there's very little mulch and then we'll have areas where it'll be stacked up just because she's running through it and messing it up but I think for now this little gate thing is gonna remedy the situation and help redirect her because I don't mind her running I just don't want her to destroy my yard Sansa come here Come on, let's go. There you go, Sansa girl. Oh yeah, you guys, I have a new hairstyle. <laughs> I always forget to mention that. After I took that quick weave out and washed my hair and all that, I was inspired to braid my hair. I'm like, I want some braids. Also a friend of mine that I had talked to at Anthony's birthday party, she had her hair braided and she's pregnant too. And we were talking about how, you know, how the hair situation can be like, kind of in the way a little bit. I don't want to say it's an inconvenience, you know, but it just kind of like, you don't have time for it, so it ends up looking a mess. So she was saying how she had gotten, gotten her hair braided and it's just so much easier. And I'm like, yeah, I need to braid my hair. So I did these um, boho braids or I don't think they're goddess braids. I think these are the boho braids where you have the loose hair kind of intertwined with the braided hair. And I did them really long this time, as you guys can see. Pretty much 
practically touching my thigh. Definitely past butt length. I did these myself, of course. I did an Instagram video on them with uh, some more details on like the hair that I used and all that stuff. So you guys wanna check it out. I'll put the video and then I'll put the link below so you guys can go watch it or at least read the caption. But basically, just in a nutshell, I use regular synthetic braiding hair like I would always use. And then for the loose hair portion, I used um, a Master Mix. What's the name of that Master Mix? Organique or something like that. So it's a mix between human and synthetic. So you still have to kind of treat it like synthetic. But I just used it because I was trying this style with the human hair leave out for the first time. Because you guys remember the last time I did this, when I went to Egypt, I used the straight up synthetic crinkly hair and I really didn't like the way it came out. It was kind of miserable keeping the hair from tangling everywhere. So I decided I would try it with a different type of hair, but I needed to practice first y'all before I spent a hundred dollars a bag for the, the human hair stuff. I really needed to practice to make sure I wasn't going to hate it and be just throwing money out the window. So that's why I went with the master mix for this time. But y'all, I am convinced that I freaking love this hairstyle and I really like the way I did it. So I will definitely be doing it again and the next time I'm going to be using the actual bona fide human hair so that I could have the best experience with the hair. And I also put the hair at the bottom of the braid. So while this braiding hair is only 29 inches, it ended up being more like a 38, 40 inch length because of the elongation of adding the Master Mix hair on the ends, y'all. So I'm obsessed. <laughs> I think this is a really cute style. <laughs> and I've been getting a ton of deliveries for the baby and everything. I've just been putting everything over here in this corner, stacking it up. This is one of the little teddy bears that I normally use for Christmas decorating. So I'm just gonna switch out the bow and we're gonna use that for my baby sprinkle decoration. So that's one less giant teddy bear that I have to buy. And then I just got this delivery from our friends at Sarah V. They were so kind as to send us this wonderful package. I haven't even opened it yet, as you can see, but really excited to try out some of their skincare products that were formulated for baby. So I can't wait to dive into this, y'all, and to check it out. Okay, I got a few minutes before I have to go pick up Ann. So I'm gonna show you guys one more package that I got. It's from Baby List. It's in my closet. I am so random because I've literally put everything in here. Um, so yeah, they're so sweet and kind, you guys. They sent me this little personalized letter and it is their pacifier box, which I was very excited about. They asked me if I wanted to receive this and I was like, hells yeah. So it's basically all of the essentials, everything you would need for babies binky needs so i got this wubba nub which is an infant pacifier it has this little plush toy connected to it which makes it very desirable and soothing for the infant we also have this lulu lollipop very very cool so i think this is going to really come in handy a lot of this stuff is new y'all because the last time i had a newborn was six years ago so um it, it's been really fun learning about all of the new advancements and technology i really love that technology has a really comfy place in infant supplies because I think when it comes to like the medical field, we really should be focusing on maternal health and infant mortality and things like that. And I just love that there's so much more to make these babies comfortable and to help them to thrive. We also have another little binky. This one is called Bibs. This one's designed in Denmark. And then we have a Nuke one. We have the Mom Original Start Pacifier. We have the Chico one. This one is new. It's really gonna be fun to explore some of these new brands that I had not heard of before. And then this is the Dr. Brown's Happy Passy Silicone Pacifier. It's always nice to be thought of in this way. So thank you so much, Baby Liz, and I'll be sharing more with you guys as it comes in. You guys might notice in my videos, I'm always cleaning right here. <laughs> this is where Ann sits to have her breakfast and lunch. And baby, it'd be a mess. She's getting a lot better with it though, so the messes aren't as extensive. But I always just like to kind of clean at least, at least once a day just to keep it under control. Gotta love my little handy dandy old cedar mop. Okay, we're back. I picked up Ann from school. And uh, we went to Menards, got the rest of those little fence thingies. I'm just spraying on some uh, sun balm spray. I really like the spray, y'all. It's just so convenient to just get it on there. You ain't gotta worry about trying to blend it in and all that. You don't get that white residue. So I just sprayed some on in since we're gonna be outside. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of those little fence things in the ground. Cause I just can't resist, y'all know me. Hi. Hey, put your shoes back on. She took her little Crocs off. She's having a little 
afternoon lunch snack thing happening here. All I need is my water. So yeah, even with like this little sample fence that I put out. Come here and put that down. Put it back. I told you to leave it alone, mommy, okay? Leave it alone, okay? She keeps trying to water everything. It doesn't need to be watered right now though. Back to what I was saying. So like even the little sample fence piece that I put here, it actually stopped Sansa and Ann and I actually saw them see it and then pause and then go around it. So I don't know y'all, I think it's gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of them down. This is what it is. It's the Enchanted Garden Romantic Folding Fence. There's the brand in case anyone's interested. Y'all, these were $7.99 a bunch. And so you get this many feet for the $7.99, which is probably two, four, six, eight, probably like eight and a half feet of fence for $7.99. It's not too bad. Over here, Ann. Come over here. My knee pads. Okay, that's better. Right? All right. Sansa's out. She's investigating what I've been up to. So I got all of the little gate thingies down into the ground. This actually wasn't that bad. I thought it would be way more work and it's almost like not even noticeable. Honestly, you can't even see it. I was worried that it would look bad. It looks just fine. And then here's the one over here. I had to do a little tweaking. You guys saw me kind of like clipping some of the excess pieces off the end just to make everything fit perfectly. And then like having to like connect some of them where they didn't naturally connect just to make it all fit and I left it open down here by the AC just you know for when we have this thing serviced I don't want the gate thing all in the way or getting destroyed so I just left it off right there but honestly Sansa is getting the drift she really is she's running around the mulch she's not running through it and like with this one she would like start down here and run straight across y'all and it would be like mulch all right here and then like all my flowers would be trampled and at first i thought i wouldn't care because these are pretty much just practically weeds they're just daylilies but girl it just doesn't look good and it's a bad habit for her because then she'll do the same thing with my flowers that do matter so i think it worked out and i'll show you guys what it looks like out here when it gets a little bit darker okay here's how it looks at dusk my sounds are underneath the trampoline oh my god fire going Lit my little centronella candles which are not filming correctly you really can't even see them they look like light bulbs hide off the curtains these are my k george curtains from a couple years ago they're waterproof these are the same ones they hold up really well if you take them down in the winter and then just like wash them and store them one solar light came on. <laughs> it's not dark enough. I put one solar light in this pot. So just to give this corner a little bit of light. I'm interested to see how that looks when it gets a little darker. So yeah, folks, that's pretty much it. I had this hit going but I turned it off out of all the years I've been you know setting the patio up it's probably my favorite one just because I didn't put a whole lot of thought into it I just put stuff out and I actually happened to really like it so super satisfied with it very cozy very comfy it's all good favorite place to sit 
right here. I can control my fire. I have my little centronella candle inside of there. And I can watch Anne play from the perfect vantage point. So it's probably my favorite seat right here. <laughs> Alright, that's it for today. It's time to take a shower and wind down. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. I dropped Ann off at therapy and I was sitting on my computer doing some quick little editing and Anthony went to the gym. I didn't go. I planned to walk today. So that's actually what I'm getting ready to do. Um, I think before I go though, I'm gonna have a quick breakfast and then head out before it gets too, too hot. But yeah, I'm really feeling in a walking mood today. I just wanna go to the trail, you know, and just walk through the shaded path and get some fresh air, listen to the sound of the birds and nature, and then, you know, kind of take it easy today. So I'll bring you guys along. What'd you say? Oh, I missed it. <laughs> Anthony said they had a good workout today. All the people at the gym were asking about me. <laughs> so sweet. I'm gonna eat before I go. Like I think I mentioned, kind of want some bacon and scrambled eggs. <laughs> uh, baby, what did you eat for breakfast? Oh, <laughs> still eating that leftover shrimp and grits. I think today is the last day. Baby, today is the last day for the shrimp and grits. You know, he, he said he don't let shit go to waste. Yeah, I'm just gonna make, um, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna mix a couple pieces of bacon and some uh, runny scrambled eggs. I really think I want that and maybe like a piece of toast. I can't find the Ezekiel bread in the stores. Like they must have some kind of shortage. Yeah, Jewel didn't have any. Like the section where they have it, it was empty. So you could see where it was skewed for Ezekiel bread, it was just empty. I need to hurry up because I'm gonna miss my window. <laughs> We got some scrambled eggs, kind of on the runny side inside, which is how I like them. A little creme fraiche on top. That's all I need. Probably should have sprayed this on outside. <laughs> Sansa, you helping out? <laughs> Good job, Sansa. Must be nice not needing a ladder. Let's connect it. Let me see. Let's stick it on there so we don't lose it. And I'll just store this in the garage. Oh, that's gonna be so fun. <laughs> okay, there it is. All done. Anne's first time trying it out. Y'all, she ran directly to it. She always notices little changes. She goes straight to them. She's like, this is different. But y'all, look how she's chilling. It's like a hammock for her. This is perfect. And I just put some sunblock on her because it's Real sunny over here, but yeah, y'all. Somebody loves it. Good morning.
once again welcome back to the choppy vlogging it's the next day or maybe it's two days later i don't even know <laughs> this day started off real hectic as much as i wanted to share my morning with you guys i just could not bring myself to reach for the camera it was so hectic but um as you guys can see i'm in the car i'm on my way to my baby sprinkle venue to meet up with my cousin keisha from Sweet Sparkle Creations because she's going to be doing the decorating and Mumu was not available today. So I'm gonna be going over here and just kind of doing a walkthrough with her. So yeah, me and Ann got up for our usual routine and I got her dressed and ready, lunch packed and dropped off at therapy and stuff. And so she's there, she's in a super good mood today, you guys. They've been having fun at the therapy center though lately with like extracurriculars and stuff. The other day they did a butterfly release, but it wasn't just any butterfly release, y'all. These were butterflies that they have um, raised from cocoons and the kids were able to kind of see that entire process and then they also yesterday did a little snow cone activity at the school so Anne was able to enjoy herself a snow cone on one of the hottest days of the summer so far it's just they've been having tons of fun up there so I really really love that but yeah anyways I'm um, just trying to get over here and do this walkthrough with my cousin and everything we're kind of in the final phase of her like conceptualizing uh, everything that she'll need for the decorating to kind of bring the vision to light and everything. So yeah, I got my coffee here, basically a latte that I made at home and then I have my water bottle. And I haven't been able to eat breakfast yet because I've been on the move, but uh, that is the next priority after this is to quickly get something to eat because delaying my breakfast moment is not the move these days. Like I will really start to feel it. All right, let's get back to some Phoenix. So this is where the food would be. Yeah, this okay. whole thing, it'll probably be all, because we, we ordered quite a few different So options. I know we don't want the DJ too close to the food, so like... Yeah. I wonder if you could just set him up over there. That's what I was thinking, but too. But I, I don't want people... Yeah. Lining up for food and bumping into yeah, his stuff and all that. Mm -hmm. Like, do he have like a big setup? I doubt it. It's, it. I think it's real like simple. Like a laptop and. Yeah. I kind of wish like your backdrop could be here. And I know we want to use a lot of these. Mm hmm. Those are where the centerpieces will go. Are we putting centerpieces here too? Or. Um, cause I think you said like five or six centerpieces. Yeah. So that's four. Where would the other, where would you want the other centerpieces? So I think what we'll do is we'll grab, um, we'll grab two of the high boys. I think they're taller than these. Well, th these are just, I think. So they'll be taller. And then we'll put those, just like the two of them, like in the middle here. Okay. And on top of those, we'll have the centerpieces and then the excess area of table. I'm gonna put the, um, party favors. Okay. Which, which are these really tiny little jars of honey. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Five, six. So we're gonna do just six of these. Cause th those are kind of like the same, but no, they're not. So it's gonna be six tables. Well, it's I'm not gonna counting be the high boys yet. Just these. So four of these. And then how many are over here? Is it four all together? I have two other ones, but if you want to see it Yeah, okay. It's already so high. Yeah. yeah. About like the the hot air balloon, like with the with the teddy bear hanging off of it, with the fresh flowers. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. But I know you said you wanted to sound like really high. As high as you can get it, okay. to where it makes sense, because this is probably about a good four feet clearance right here. So nothing taller, because you don't want to go into the light mm -hmm. fixture. I think Mumu had this idea that stuff was gonna be hanging from the ceiling, but I'm like, girl, you see how but tall those know, ceilings are? But we can do some clouds, like balloons. Great walkthrough. Yes. Got everything you need, cousin? I do. Thank you. <laughs> Tell your my business. name is Keisha Boyd with Duos. The name of my business is Sweet Sparkle Creations. And I'm going to add that sparkle to Miss Bond's baby shower. Yes. So <laughs> They're going to be like, I can't wait to see it. Yeah. <laughs> she does her thug dizzle, honey. Listen, runs in the family, okay? <laughs> wait for it to fill up all of them. 
All right, back home. <laughs> Y'all haven't eaten, like what? So I'm about to fix myself a quick little breakfast. I really enjoyed the whole scrambled eggs I had the other day with the bacon, so I'm gonna run that back. And Anthony's here, he's getting ready to leave out for work. Got all his equipment on the counter. And I'm just, I've just been on my computer, like checking emails and putting stuff in my Amazon cart. <laughs> um, and I wanted to show y'all, speaking of Amazon, this new phone case that I have. Y'all, this is so freaking cute. I like that it's an absolute rectangle, so the edges are pointy and not round, which I don't know, that just seems kind of unique to me. And it also helps keep the phone from like cracking if it hits on the corner because it has like that extra corner there. It's not like completely contoured to the phone. So the phone doesn't receive much of that impact. And I have dropped it and it freaking bounced like rubber. So that's really awesome. The case looks like it's made out of glass, but it's really like, I mean, it definitely has like a, a hard, shell component but it's very flexible and can like twist and turn and it is very rubbery um and you'll notice as you're putting it on your phone so there's a picture of Anne. uh how many months was she on this picture was she a year yet anyway y'all brown is my favorite color and i really love it so i got this from amazon i'll put the link below if y'all are interested it's really affordable and i have the one for the 13 pro max it has all the perfect little indentions and adapters and everything love it so much fun how cute so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, enjoy my breakfast. I got my bacon cooking on the stove there. I just got an alert for a phone call I almost forgot about. I have a call with my campaign manager today. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'll be picking up Ann soon and we'll be starting our evening routine. So I'm just gonna end this vlog here, okay? I appreciate you guys hanging out with me, um, checking out the patio updates and stuff. I hope you guys like it. And I hope you enjoyed the little behind the scenes for my baby Sprinkle. I can't wait to have that happen it's about a month away at this point so we'll be getting into that soon and hopefully you guys will join me and i love you guys so much and i'll talk to you in my next one bye <laughs>